hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel uh, my name is Sheila and today we are going to be learning how to make the monokini and the tools I'm going to use are um, 3.75 millimeter hook uh, the yarn is Alice cotton gold uh, and yarn art so I'm going to refer you to my previous videos of how to make the bikini bottom and the bra cups. This is the bikini bottom you need. I'm going to be linking the, putting the link in the description box. You go and work on this and then also you work on the bra cups. I also have a tutorial on how to make well fitted bra cups. This is all you'll need. And for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work the middle section to turn it into a monokini. So the part that's missing is the middle section. That's the part that I'm going to be showing you today. So make sure to go to the description box and find out the links for the bra cups and for the bikini bottom. So we're going to put the bikini bottom away because we are going to be working on this part first then we shall attach the bikini bottom so I'll be using the the darker color this is the color that I've chosen for the middle section you can as well make your monokini plain color if you wish so I already joined my bra cups with a simple knot so all I'm going to do is grab this side the end of this side and make a chain of 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so this extra one is just to make the 16th chain is to make this tight. This is the 16th chain that you pull to tighten that knot. Then you're going to go to this side also. Attach your yarn like this. And now you're going to chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 but this time we're not going to cut this is what we have on this side but this side we're not going to cut the yarn we are going to turn like this now we are going to be working along the back section of the bra cup so these are 15 you're going to chain one more and then you're going to half double crochet in each and every chain for a total of 15 stitches so half double crochet in each and every chain this so go all the way to the end okay so um when you get here when you get your 15 half double crochets we are now going to join onto the bra cup and we are going to be placing two half double crochets in each and every double crochet space. That means every row gets two half double crochets. Like that. Okay. Okay. 
okay keep going until the end of the row so let me try to speed up so that we finish faster so that is two half double crochets in each row below one two then you move to the next row <coughs> one two one two one two then one two so keep going okay so when you get to the middle you're going to just cross over to this side and place one two two half double crochets in each and every row Okay, so we've come to the end of the second row cup, and then now I'm going to do the last 15 half double crochets, one in each and every chain. So this was to make the bra cup have a base, where we are going to work the design for the middle section okay here we are i'm done with that you're going to chain one and then cut your yarn so we've got the best way we're going to be working the middle design. This is how your work should look like. Doesn't matter whether you're using a plain color or mixed up colors. Choose a color for the middle section. So my choice of color is this darker brown. So you're going to make a slip knot. So we are going to start on the middle design. This is how our work looks like in the exact middle. You're going to count four stitches on both both ends. So one, two, three, four. And after that, in between the fourth and the fifth, you're going to join your yarn. You're going to attach your yarn there like that then you're going to chain four five six seven you're going to chain uh, nine chains and then count of four on the other side and in the fifth you're going to make a slip stitch this is the loop that we have that's the beginning of the middle design so these are ch um, nine chains but in between we have eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight so you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and into the next stitch and the next stitch so that's a total of three slip stitches then turn your work you're going to place a total of 12 
double crochets so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so we have a total of twelve you're going to count three stitches away one two and in the third you're going to slip stitch that's what you should have right now that's the first row of of the middle section so you're going to slip stitch again three times one two and three and then turn your work so you're going to chain one double crochet in the very first double crochet like that chain one double crochet in the next double crochet so keep doing that chain one double crochet in each double crochet and then chain one after chain one double crochet 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 chain one and double crochet in the very last double crochet make sure you don't miss it so you should have a total of 12 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so when you have a total of 12 you're going to chain one and count three stitches away so one two and in the third you're going to make a slip stitch like that then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and in the next and in the next that's a total of three slip stitches then you're going to turn you're not going to chain one because this row we are not going to chain one in between so go into the very first space with a double crochet double crochet in the stitch after so right now we are working in the space and in the stitch you're not chaining one in between so double crochet in the space and double crochet in the double crochet after so double crochet space double crochet in the stitch double crochet in the space double crochet in the stitch double crochet in the space double crochet in the stitch so go all the way back to the beginning of the row space stitch space stitch space stitch like that so this is what you should have right now so space stitch and then in the last space don't forget to double crochet there then you're going to count three or three stitches away so one two and in the third you're going to slip stitch that's what you should have right now okay so for the next row you're going to slip stitch three times so in the next stitch and the next stitch and the third stitch and then chain one and turn your work we are going to do another row of mesh so we are going to go into the first stitch chain one into the next stitch chain one so we are going into each and every stitch with a chain one in between like the same exact thing that we did for this row we are going to do the same thing so go all the way to the end of the row chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one double crochet in the next stitch like that 
chain one double crochet 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 So, um, okay, so you're going to chain one and then go into the very last stitch. Make sure I don't skip it. Chain one and then count three stitches away and slip stitch. Okay. This is what you should have right now. This is how your work should look like. So we are going to do another row of block. So all we are going to do is slip stitch into the next stitch and into the next stitch and into the third stitch. Then turn your work and this time we are not going to chain one because we are doing a block row. We are not going to chain in between. So go into the first space. So go into the very first space with a double crochet, then double crochet into the stitch. Then double crochet in the space, then the stitch. So keep doing that for this whole row. We're not chaining anything in between. Just double crochet in the space, then the stitch. One double crochet in each chain, one space, and one double crochet in each and every double crochet below so you notice that the rows are getting longer that's what we want because this will help the um, the design to be flat on the body so that it doesn't bulge or anything so This is how your work should look like at this point. So we are almost at the end of the row. Okay, don't forget to place a double crochet in the very last space and then count three stitches away and then slip stitch. This is what you should be having right now. That's how your work should look like. So for the next row, we are going to slip stitch once into the next stitch and then chain three. Turn your work, skip the first two stitches and in the third make a single crochet. Chain three, skip two, st two stitches and in the third make a single crochet. That's what we are going to do all the way across. So one, two, three, skip two single crochet in the third one two three skip two stitches 
single crochet in the third so keep doing that until the end of this row one two three one two three Okay, right now I have three stitches left, so I'll chain three and skip all these three and then slip stitch in the next uh, stitch after this one where we joined this row. You'll go into the next one up. Then you're going to uh, slip stitch into the next stitch, then chain three turn your work single crochet in that very space then chain three single crochet in the next space chain three single crochet in the next space so keep doing that till end of row one two three one two three one two three One, two, three. Okay, so go ahead and chain three, single crochet in the next space. When you get to the last space, you're going to make a single crochet then chain three and then go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch there like that so you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch turn your work make a single crochet in this first space and then in this next space you're going to do a total of nine double crochets three four five Six, seven, eight, and nine. This is what you should have. Then single crochet in the next space. Make a total of nine double crochets. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Single crochet in the next space. Double crochet nine in the next space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, single crochet in the next space. So you should be having shells here at this point. So go ahead and keep doing that. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Single crochet in the next space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
single crochet that's how your work should look like at this point So go all the way to the end of the row. eight nine so right now I'm almost at the end so I'm going to single crochet and since this one I can't work a total of nine I'm going to just skip that just skip this because if we work nine here it's going to stress this point just skip over this and then slip stitch there so that we balance what we have here now you're going to slip stitch three times three then uh you're going to chain so i have a total of five chains here i'm going to count to the fifth stitch because it's the exact mid of the shell one two three four five and single crochet there this is only for the beginning because we don't have a long distance so I did a chain of five and then slip stitched in the fifth stitch the exact middle stitch of the shell then you're going to chain a total of sorry seven you're going to chain seven then count to the fifth stitch one two three four five and then you're going to make a single crochet there chain seven one two three four in the fifth stitch make a single crochet three four five six seven one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five we are placing in the fifth because it's the exact mid of nine stitches and the shell had nine stitches so you can see the circle forming out one two three four five six seven one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five and once you get here remember what we did at the beginning we didn't chain seven we chained five because it's a shorter distance to the back up so we're going to chain five one two three four five and then count to the third uh the third stitch one two three and make a slip stitch there so let me show you how the work should look like right now that's how your work should look like so you can see we are shaping up to the end like we are still growing the circle that's going to be placed in the middle of the torso okay so for the next row you're going to slip stitch to the third stitch one two and three turn your work now we are going to do a row of double crochets 
So you're going to place a total of seven stitches in each and every space. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump over to the next space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Next space, same thing. So continue placing seven double crochets in each and every space. So I'm in the last space and it's also going to get seven double crochets. So after all this, this is what you should have. Now you're going to count to the third stitch and make a slip stitch. One, two, three, make a slip stitch slip stitch in the next stitch then turn your work chain three skip the next two stitches and in the third make a single crochet one two three skip the next two stitches and in the third make a single crochet like that so we are going back to this row what we did on this row is what we are doing up here one two three in the third Make a single crochet. One, two, three. In the third, make a single crochet. So keep working that till the end of the row. One, two, three. In the third, make a single crochet. One, two, three. In the third, make a single crochet. So you just keep two stitches and in the third stitch you make a single crochet then chain three skip two stitches and in the third you make a single crochet So here we are, we are going to chain three and skip all these last stitches and slip stitch in the next stitch. This is what you should have. Then for the next row, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work. Chain three, uh, single crochet in the very first space chain three single crochet in the next space chain three 
single crochet in the next space all the way around all the way to the end of the row So I came up with this design around two to three years back, but I had never worked on it again. So So when you get to the end you're going to chain three and then in the next stitch you're going to place a slip stitch this is what we have so far so for the next stitch we're going to um, slip stitch into the next stitch turn your work make a single crochet in this very first space double crochet nine times in the next stitch three four five six seven eight and nine okay so we are going back to making this row here so you make nine stitches and then slip um, single crochet here nine stitches single crochet in the next so after the nine stitches you're going to single crochet in this one and go back to nine stitches in the next space one two three four five six seven eight and nine single crochet then go back to nine stitches in the next um, chain three space five six seven eight nine single crochet so go all the way to the end of the row with this and I'll meet you when you have the row finished. So you can see that our monokini is starting to shape out. So no worries. Okay, so I've come to the end of the row. And then I'm going to just uh, single crochet in the next space and then skip this skip this and then just slip stitch into the next stitch that's what you should have right now so you're going to slip stitch to the third stitch one two and three then we're going back to the other the chain row here you're going to chain five one two three four five count to the fifth stitch two three four five and single crochet so remember you only do five for the ending and the beginning then all the way in the middle it's sorry seven one two three four five six seven count to the fifth stitch which is the middle stitch of the shell one two three four five and then you single crochet there So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. Like that. So go all the way around. 
five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. That's what you should have at the moment. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. Then now we are at the end of the row. We are going to chain five. Five. And then count to the third stitch. One, two, three. And then I'm going to slip stitch there. That's what you should have right now. That's how your work should look like. So uh, the number of rows that you do depends on the length of your torso. So personally, I'm going to stop on the next row, which I'm going to show you. It will be this row, the one of doing double crochets all the way back. But if your bikini bottom was uh, low cut and very low for your stomach to cover through, you'll do some more rows. So if you stop here, if I show you this row again, you will do the next row and the next row and then add this and then add this and then do the final row. So if your torso is a bit longer, you can go ahead and keep working. Because now you know from this row, you know what to do for the next row and then the next row and then the next row. It's a repetition of this pattern. So for me, I'm not so tall. So I'll do slip stitch in the next three stitches turn my work we are doing the final row and that's the row of double crochets so that row has seven double crochets in each and every space let me see five six seven one two three so go ahead and do that row and finish it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to the next space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So continue working this until the end of the row and then I'll be showing you how to attach your upper part to the lower part. Continue working this row. This is my final row personally since I'm not so tall. So continue working this and I'll see you when I'm done with that. Okay so I've come to the end of the row. Evenly space out your stitches. So you can see how flat my work is. So once I've come to the end, um, you're going to count to the third chain and then you slip stitch there. Then you're going to chain one. That's if you're done with the length that you need. You will chain one and then cut your yarn. We shall weave in these ends later. So this is what I should be having right now. This is how my work looks like. So I'm going to identify the exact middle of my work. And the way I want to do that, you just count one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. That means the exact middle is somewhere around here. This is the exact middle of my work. And since we have seven stitches there, that means the fourth stitch is the exact middle of my work. One, two, three, four. That is the exact middle of my work. You want to identify that because that's where we're going to attach this middle section with the V. 
So let me get my needle. You're going to get this. Identify the front sides of your work. So get the side that looks better. I think this side is okay. Okay, I'll go with this side. Let me say this. So, um, okay, so I have my yarn needle already with yarn. I'll be using the same color as this to join. So, I've put my yarn through. So, you're going to go ahead. These are the front sides I've chosen. So, you're going to go ahead and count. This is the middle stitch. You're going to count how many stitches you have to the right. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 stitches in total. I'm 21 here from the middle section to here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to count this middle stitch. I'm going to count 21 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So my 21st stitch is here. You're going to grab your yarn needle and attach the end of the bikini to the, to the 21st stitch. So we are going to keep attaching one one stitch i don't know what stitch this is called i uh, i'm not good with tailoring so i'm going to just go ahead and use the most suitable stitch for me to join this So I can remove this since I've identified the exact middle and I've counted the stitches, right? So keep joining your stitches. that you can also use a single crochet if you wish you can use anything to join it can be a yarn needle it can be single crochet it can be a slip stitch whatever you prefer is okay I don't want to be so specific because sometimes people don't have the tools that you're using So you can see the effect it's creating here. So I've actually reached the exact middle. You're going to go in the middle and the middle of this side. And then go all the way across to the other side. So I'm making the effect it's making. Those spikes on the black. So 
I'm going to continue what I've been doing for a total of 21 rows because we had 21 on this side. You should have the same number on the other side so that the monokini can balance. Said it's harder to work because I'm right handed. But you're just going to go all the way back to the other side by 21 stitches. So let me do that and I'll show you how my work looks like at the end. Okay, so this is how your work should look like. I'm literally done with attaching the bikini bottom at the front. So I'm going to weave in this side. I get rid of this string I'll weave it through a few stitches so that I get rid of it okay so after this you're going to cut this We're done with this part. This is how your monokini should look like. So you're going to go ahead and attach straps to the upper part. A normal string, because this is just going to go to the back of your neck. Attach straps to this point. And this strap should be long because we are going to use it to actually bring it around and then it comes through somewhere here somewhere around here to emphasize the waist area so let me go ahead and do that and i'll show you how my work will be looking like at the end and i also try it on the dummy to show you the exact fitting of the monokini okay so i made some very long chains these are the ones i'm going to be using for my straps i used the five millimeter hook i made two chains of 150 so i'll be just folding it into half then i go to the tip of the bra cup and then i pull it through and then pull these two strings through so that it's a bit stronger i have two straps at the top that's how i want my bikini straps to be so you're going to grab your second one, do the same thing, fold it into half like this, then go to the tip of the bra cup and attach it. So the upper bit is finished. This is what you have for the upper bit. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off these. You can put beads at the end just to make it prettier but I don't have beads right now okay so this is how your work should look like at the moment then I went ahead to do two strings of 200 chains in black steel so I'm going to do the same thing fold it into half and attach it at this point here find a way of attaching it somewhere here like this and then you pull it through make sure it's firm enough then do the same on the other side grab your next uh, string fold it into half and do the same thing on this side that attach it there so we have straps both up and on the sides so turn your work to the back side and let me show you what I was talking about before these straps on the sides 
are going to come and crisscross at the back behind your back and you can put them through this first space after the attaching of the bikini bottom there's that first space before the next seven double crochets and do the same here this will help when you're wearing it because it will emphasize the the waist area for those who want to so you'll just come like this and then make a knot at the back so I'm going to go ahead and try it on my dummy I'm going to weave in all the ends and try it on my dummy and I get back to you when uh, I have the exact fitting on the dummy so after weaving in all your ends this is how your work should look like I have one more here I'm going to just pass it through several stitches your work should be as neat as this Make sure you don't forget any strings lying around. Find a way of hiding them. Okay, so I'm done with that. I've hidden all my ends and this is how my work looks like. So let's see it on the dummy. Okay, so here we are. I've dressed up the monokini on the dummy. This was from a size small to medium. So you can see the design is well laid on the body of the dummy. And the detail is actually coming out exactly how we want it to. It's well stretched, so make sure you don't do this part so long that it will be sagging. Make sure you keep it a bit tight and a bit shorter than your torso so that you don't get a sagging fitting. It should be as exact as it should, like, as possible. So you can see this hole. And then the bra cups are well fitted. If we go to the sides, you can see it's all covered up. Then, when you go to the back, this is what I was talking about. This is where we attached our straps. So, I brought this one, this strap, to this side, the point where I showed you, and put it through. And then also to this side, and then I tied them together. So basically this is our monokini which is finished and I hope you like it. Um, this design is also suitable for like uh, swimming because you're not going to have your panties dropping since they're attached all the way up. So keep that in mind. Monokinis are always safer to work with in water. And since I used Alizian it's very lightweight and uh, very soft it's okay for monokini so yeah that's basically it this is our monokini i hope you liked the tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, give a thumbs up if you liked this video and please make sure to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video I'm always happy to share with you. Have a good day. Bye.